Thank you, Madam Chair. Move to adopt resolution 22-191. Second. Moved by Member Molina, seconded by Member Sugimura to adopt resolution 22-191. Uh, Discussion, Member Molina. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, we interviewed Mr. Antone during our great committee meeting earlier this week on Tuesday, October 4th. Uh, Mr. Antone is the mayor's nomination to the Maui Planning Commission for a term expiring March 31st, 2027 to fill a vacancy due to the resignation of William Gordon Grigg. Uh, Mr. Antone is currently an independent consultant and was previously employed as a reporter and by the uh, Pacific Disaster Center, Maui Hotel and Lodging Association, and the Maui County Mayor's Office. Uh, Mr. Antone stated that his previous experience as a reporter and his work with the county uh, provide him with uh, sound reasoning when it comes to decision-making that affects the public. And he you know, noted that he relies upon data and studies rather than impassioned pleas from the public when it comes to decision-making. Um, I believe uh, Mr. Antone uh, will be a good addition to this commission. And if there are any uh, types of potential conflicts, uh, he would uh, certainly do the right thing and potentially recuse himself. So I'm uh, willing to uh, give him an opportunity to serve. Thank you, Madam Chair. Further discussion? Vice Chair Rollins Fernandez. Mahalo, Chair. Uh, I move to amend the resolution on uh, Be It Resolved, where it reads that it approves the Council of the County of Maui, one, uh, that it approves the appointment of uh, Rod Antone, uh, from approved to disapproved. Second. Been moved by Vice Chair Rollins Fernandez, seconded by Member Paulton to to disapprove this uh, nominee. Discussion, member, Vice Chair Rollins Fernandez. Mahalo, Chair. Um, I think it's, uh, it was stated uh, many times in testimony today that uh, Mr. Antone is a hard worker, uh, that he is uh, a great guy, um, and his interests uh, that was uh, shared in committee as we discussed it. Uh, are very well represented on the current planning com Maui Planning Commission, and um, that he is currently the vice chair of the um, Pa'ia Ha'iku uh, Advisory Committee to the Maui Planning Commission. Um, and so he does have um, an opportunity to uh, provide his insights uh, in decision-making uh, position um, and uh, I want to uh, extend my appreciation for Mr. Ant uh, to Mr. Antoon for his uh, continued service to the uh, community. And in the Be It Resolve, uh, the second clause is that the council expresses its gratitude and appreciation to Mr. Uh, Antoon for his willingness to be considered. And uh, that would remain in the resolution. Mahalo, Chair. Any more discussion? Member Sugimura Thank you. and then Member King. Thank you. I'm going to speak um, in opposition of the amended um, resolution. I, I believe that Mr. Antone brings a um, knowledge and experience from many sectors and that um, I believe it, it'll be an added um, depth um, to the Maui Planning Commission and I, and I support his uh, nomination. So I'm speaking against Member King. Uh, thank you, Chair. I speak in support of the um, amendment, and uh, I agree with um, Vice Chair Rollins Fernandez that um, you know we have a lot. Of, we all, a lot of us have a lot of respect for Mr. Antone, and um, have known him a while. I think there's an imbalance in the Planning Commission, and that his views and his point of his you know um, direction is well represented. It's, we've been underrepresented on the environmental side and people who speak up for the public. And I just wanted to say too, that I was a little bit disappointed when we did the interview that um, there was a statement about you know, listening to public input. But when I pressed Mr. Antone on that, what we heard was, well, sometimes the public needs to be educated. And I think that's a two way street. I think sometimes planning commissioners need to listen to the public and be educated on what the public knows, especially when they're not in the district that they have um, extensive knowledge in. So I've seen that happen a lot in South Maui District. And I just think that we need a uh, better balance um, on this, this uh, planning commission since it's supposed to represent the entire island of Maui. So 
Um, it's nothing personal against Mr. Antone. I like him. Um, I have a lot of respect for him, but I think we need to, um, I think we need to know as a council who else has applied for the planning commission. I would love to see one, someone like Lucien Dene be appointed to the planning commission. Um, I don't know how many other folks like her have been, have applied because we don't get that, we don't get that information sent to us, but um, we need to make broader decisions um, based on the com uh, composite composition of this commission since it makes such important decisions for development in all of our communities on Maui Island. So thank you. Any more discussion? Mr. Senesi, then pro tem comma. Thank you, Chair. Um, I too had the privilege of uh, knowing Mr. Antone and I have a lot of respect for him. We're gonna support the motion on the floor mainly because I don't think it's good practice to have consultants to be sitting on these boards and commissions, particularly if going to be influenced by you know, their future clientele by uh, voting for the... Oh. Okay. Uh, pro tem comma. Uh, thank you, Chair. I'm going to be in position of this amendment. Um, I heard all the discussion, but I also realized that Mr. Antone brings a lot of historical knowledge with him. And, you know, all of our interests here in this council is wide and varied. And, but some of us like some things more than others. I mean, I really like Hawaiian homes and I like those issues that I want to do with. But not everybody on this council does too. Therefore, but that's not my main interest. I have a lot of other interests too. And I'd like to be able to allow and the opportunity because he did come to us. He did say, I do want to serve. And he did also tell us that he was serving on this and be willing to be able to go if he was allowed. I think I just want to allow him to, to share with, with much of what he has to give us. And, you know, he's one out of what, nine, nine people on that board. Um, just like all of us now, we're not always going to agree, we're not always going to disagree, but collectively, we come up with some pretty good stuff. So I'm hopeful that nine members of this planning commission will be able to come up with some really good stuff too. Thank you, Chair. Okay, for the second time, Member Sugimura. Second and final. So kind of interesting. Uh, Lucien Dene, we did appoint her in one of my terms to be on the planning commission. Okay, she That's withdrew something. it. Oh, okay. that was one of the comments. So waterboard. Oh, was waterboard. Anyway, so um, I, I just want to say that I believe that if Mr. Antone had a conflict like anybody else, any one of us, we would recuse ourselves. So, we, we, you know, it's, it's the um, quality of um, the person and their experience and how they can make, you know, overall decisions. And we can't hope that they fit into boxes of what they can or cannot do in their lifetime. But we do hope it's a accumulation of experience. So. I'm going to, again, speak against this. Um, I stand corrected about Lucien Dene. I, I thought it was this gun commission, but water board. So chances are given. Thank you. Members, any more discussion? If not, roll call. Resolution. 22191. Council Member Shane Sinensi. Aye. Council Member Mike Molina. We can't hear you. No. Council Member Kelly T. King. Aye. Councilmember Gabe Johnson. Excused. Councilmember. No, I'm sorry. I'm here, Chair. Wait. I vote no. I vote oh. no. Uh, um, Chair, would you mind uh, repeating the motion for the um, member Johnson? You just pop up like that. Member Johnson, sorry. Uh, we're voting on I. the moment. Vote aye, I beg your pardon. 
he changed his vote because he didn't realize uh, where it was. Okay, next, next person. Council member Tamara Paulton. Aye. Council member Yuki Lei Sugimura. Aye. No. Council member Pro Tem Tasha Kama. No. Council member Vice Chair County Rollins Fernandez. Aye. And Council Chair Alice L. Lee. No. That's five ayes. Four. Yeah, five ayes, so four motion carries. Four no's, motion carry. Okay. Pardon me? Madam Do you have Clerk? to bring him into the meeting? Uh, he just kind of popped up as a voice. Um, do you have to bring him into our meeting? Well, he did. He did vote, so. Uh, let's proceed. Okay. Madam Clerk, proceeding Madam with Chair. resolution. Oh, sorry, Madam Chair. So just a point yes. of order. Um, with Mr. Johnson's appearance, should we actually uh, recognize him officially at the meeting and wherever he's at for the record? Oh, okay. Uh, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, yes, can sir. you tell us where you are and give us uh, Yes, I'm alone. If, if I'm alone in New York alone. State. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Timing was impeccable. All right, uh, shall we proceed? Moving on with resolution 22-204. Main motion. The main motion is main amended. Motion. Oh, that's right. The main motion as amended. Um, any more discussion? And so we'll have roll call on this as well. Reso 22-191. Main motion as amended. Council Member Shane Sinensi. Aye. Council Member Mike Molina. No. Council Member Kelly T. King. Aye. Council Member Gabe Johnson. Aye. Council Member Tamara Paulton. Aye. Council member Yukile Sugimura. No. Council pro tem Tasha Kama. No. Council vice chair Keani Rollins Fernandez. Aye. And council chair Alice L. Lee. No. That's five ayes, four noes, motion carries. Next. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Uh, we uh, also interviewed Mr. Jorgensen during our great committee meeting on Tuesday, October 4th. Mr. Jorgensen is the mayor's nomination to the Board of Water Supply for a term expiring March 31st, 2027 to fill a vacancy due to the removal of Aliko Lehua Elizabeth Kiano Inui Onalani store. And uh, Mr. Johnson, excuse me, Mr. Jorgensen um, is an attorney and uh, partner at Takitani Agaran Jorgensen and Wildman LLP. And, he stated he would like to serve on the board to increase community participation on nonprofit and government boards and commissions as he feels it's essential to making and helping keep Maui Maui. In addition to his advocacy work as an attorney, Mr. Jorgensen is also the president of Kalima o Maui, past president of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Maui, and previously served on the Maui Police Commission. Although Mr. Jorgensen expressed interest in the Liquor Control Commission, he did identify that there may be uh, some instances where he'd have to recuse himself due to potential conflicts with his work. So he feels that the Board of Water Supply is a better fit for him and noted he would continue to educate himself on water issues. And uh, I believe uh, Mr. Jorgensen, I think, could be a, a good addition to this board. I'd like to thank him for his willingness to s uh, serve. And certainly, if uh, there are conflicts, he would do the right thing. And if any um, if conflicts potentially continue, 
um, they probably do the right thing and uh, resign if uh, that should occur. So I'll ask for the members' uh, consideration of Mr. Jorgensen. Thank you. Member Sugimura, discussion? I, I know that we had committee uh, discussion with him and he said that if there was a conflict, he would recuse himself. So I trust his judgment. Support. I support Mr. Jorgensen. Any more discussion? Vice Chair Rollins Fernandez. Mahalo, Chair. And I move to amend, be it resolve, uh, clause one from approve to disapprove. Second. Moved uh, by Vice Chair Rollins Fernandez, seconded by Member Paulton to amend the motion to disapprove the nominee discussion. Uh, Vice Chair Rollins Fernandez. Mahalo, Chair. Uh, we heard overwhelming testimony in support of. Uh, the most qualified candidate that um, submitted an application uh, for the position on the Board of Water Supply. Uh, in Member Sanensi's APT committee yesterday, we heard a presentation from Dr. Scheuer. That level of um, legal analysis and experience uh, that we heard at uh, more in plain language for everyone to uh, easily understand is the level of uh, work that Ms. Nakanilua is capable of. She is an expert in water law. It's what she specializes in. And um, I think the community, uh, the county deserves uh, the most qualified applicant to serve on our boards uh, and commissions. Um, it is of the best interest of our county. Um, in, in committee, uh, we did talk about the different uh, potential conflicts. Um, and I did commend Mr. Jorgensen for his zealous advocacy for his clients uh, in representing the timeshares and the different hotels, um, of which the Board of Water Supply is uh, has currently established a TIG to create a new category uh, that would provide equity in water use, as Dr. Scheuer talked about yesterday in the APT committee, is using pricing to help regulate for con conservation of our public trust resource. And I, I am not confident um, that um, this nominee would uh, be able to uh, take a neutral position on this discussion that the Board of Water Supply is, is unanimously supporting the direction of. I think it's it's long overdue that this um, is explored um, and I would hate for uh, this effort to be hampered now that it's moving in this direction. And as we, again, we heard in the presentation yesterday that there are public trust purposes, some of which are um, of much higher priorities, uh, and that is something that Ms. Nakanelua understands. Um, so I will be supporting the motion uh, to disapprove Mr. Jorgensen, Mahalo Chair. Members, I'd like to remind you that we agreed on one minute, so please stay within that one minute for your turn. Uh, Member Paulson. Uh, thank you, Chair. I echo what has just been said, and I um, also speak in support of gender equity and um, that I think um, we we just received testimony uh, this afternoon that Ms. Nakanelua is still willing and available to uh, serve and that she does provide this kind of guidance to government. So it's, I mean, it's like we're getting this value or volunteer, which is volunteer is free, but I mean, volunteer, there's no price on that. So, oh, I speak in support of the motion. Thank you. Thank you. Any more discussion? Member King. Uh, thank you, Chair. I, uh, I I think Mr. Sinensi had his hand up first. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Mr. Sinensi. Thank you, Member King. I'll make it fast. Uh, as the uh, agriculture and public 
public resource, public trust committee chair, I was looking for uh, more experience and expertise to sit on this board of water supply. Um, while I do know Mr. Jurgensen, he did say on Tuesday that he was part of the ARTA timeshare group and part of the resort industry and that he would represent the, the issues of the hotels. Um, I, I think if they request of him, um, Mr. Jurgensen would be able to speak to hotel water rates as a commissioner. Uh, for me, I don't feel that it's good policy for us to uh, put lobbyists as board members. Uh, we cannot predict who their future clients will be and the, poten the potential to attract clients that may want to influence water policy. You can support. Member King. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, I, I support the amendment and again, nothing personal against Mr. Jorgensen. I've known Dave for a long time. He's a great member of the community. He volunteers with many nonprofits, but I'm frankly a little astounded that um, the administration would not put someone like Ms. Nakanilua um, on the Board of Water Supply, you know, to get that gender balance, but also this level of expertise. How, I mean, to be able to see an application like this and pass someone like this up, um, I, I mean, I, I just don't understand it, but I think we would not even have known had we not inquired. I mean, in, in my first term on this council, there was just basically rubber stamping, rubber stamping um, all the names that came down. And this really shows the need for the charter amendment for the independent nominating committee so that you can look at, you know, there's a committee that's looking at these names in the context of how many people and who have applied because we don't get that information on the council. So sorry, I went over in my minute, but I support the amendment. Thank you. Thanks. Only by five seconds. Very good. Uh, member pro tem comma. Thank you, Chair. Ending? Oh, I'm sorry. I speak against the amendment because my understanding is Mr. Jorgensen comes from the Kahului district, which would represent the Kahului district on this on this board. And um, that was my understanding. So I'm Kahului, so I just want to support my Kahului peeps. All right. Any more discussion? Let's vote. Any more discussion? Ready for the vote? Okay, uh, roll call. This is uh, Rezo 22-204, amendment to um, remove, approve, to disapprove for the appointment of David Marshall Jorgensen. Council Member Shane Sinensi. Aye. Council Member Mike Molina. No. Council Member Kelly T. King. Aye. Councilmember Gabe Johnson. Aye. Councilmember Tamara Paulton. Aye. Councilmember Yuki Le Sugimura. No. Nope. Council Pro Tem Tasha Kama. No. Council Vice Chair Keani Rollins Fernandez. Aye. And Council Chair Alice L. D. No. That's Please. five ayes, four noes, motion carries. The motion, the main motion is amended. Any more discussion? If not, roll call. Reso 22204, main motion as amended. Council Member Shane Sinensi. Aye. Council Member Mike Molina. No. Council Member Kelly T. King. Aye. Councilmember Gabe Johnson. Aye. Councilmember Tamara Paulton. Aye. Councilmember Yuki Le Sugimura. No. Council Pro Tem Tasha Kama. No. Council Vice Chair Keani Rollins Fernandez. Aye. And Council Chair Alice L. Lee. No. That's five ayes, four noes. Motion carries. <laughs> 